life's a funny thing, guys. One day you're on top of the world. Everything is just moving and grooving exactly how you want it. Next day, your new permanent bridge falls out eating spaghetti. I had a rough night last night. Luckily, I am back recharged this morning in a much better mood. Called my dentist in Salt Lake City and he referred me down to Yuma. Sure, I could go to Mexico. I have plans to go to Mexico, but again, not for something this delicate in front. So, I am taking my new Crown Bridge double tooth to Yuma to have them hopefully uh, resubmit it, maybe do some new etching to find out why it came out. Uh, obviously, I do not want this to be a regular thing every three weeks for the rest of my life, so if you're wondering if I'm now considering the implant, <laughs> my gosh, I'm so delirious right now. It's, it's hilarious. I'm laughing at myself. I hope you all are laughing with me. <laughs> it's absolute, it's nothing but hilarious. Oh my gosh. So, go get my tooth fixed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I, <laughs> that was, that was easy. You know, it's funny because, uh, there's no need to really work. I feel like years ago I would have been really stressed out and unhappy and negative. And nowadays I just, I just seem to have a different approach on life. When, when I'm throwing curveballs, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of time where I'm like, man, really? The same thing coming back? Because that's what it always is for me. It's never something new. It's always the same issues returning. And then once I get past that phase, I'm, I'm usually just right back at it doing research trying to find out we'll just mention for the record my dentist dr smith up in salt lake city uh helped me find uh pacific care uh dr carol here in yuma um, he helped me with that uh to arrange this because they have the same equipment at this office and so they took real good care of me here in yuma in and out in less than a half an hour didn't cost very much uh re-cemented in uh, did some etching work on the inside of the bridge as well as on the lower teeth. And then they took some more molds and got rid of all those high, not all those high spots, but we think there may have been a little bit of high spots because I was in such a rush up in Salt Lake City because of my flight that I didn't really get the care that uh, I, I should have had, you know, to be able to return. I was so far away that I uh, had to get this done remotely. But you know what? I'm really, really happy with my dentistry work both in Salt Lake City and here in Yuma. I am glad to have the smile restored back to working order. And if it comes out again, we're gonna do the implant anyway. And so if this doesn't hold in here, like I said, uh, I'll get the implant no matter what. And then uh, I'll be without a tooth for six months, but we'll have another permanent idea. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna get too far ahead. I'm here at a Walmart here in Yuma, got the solar panels tilted for a little bit of afternoon sun. And I just don't feel like moving. Uh, actually, I should probably get in touch with the group and find out what they wanted to do. Cause I, I'm not that I'm going to go with them, but I'm just curious where everybody's going. So the bike held up really well. Uh, surprisingly, and I, I, I don't know what to attribute this to, but I had no uh, brake problems, drum problems. Um, so I don't think 25 pounds less is going to get rid of the, the brake drum vibrations, but maybe something to do with also the carrier being a different, I mean, the carrier is heavier. This is steel. The other one was aluminum, but maybe, maybe it's just built better so that there's, I don't know. I'm a little baffled by that, but either way, uh, brakes don't seem to be making all that noise and vibration they did before. So kind of a bonus, right? Here's what we're gonna do. Gonna sleep here. Made an appointment. It is that time. Jax needs to go to Mouseland. The vet, actually. Uh, but we're gonna say Mouseland tomorrow. So I made an appointment with a vet here in town. We'll go get him checked on his uh, yearly exam. Uh, find out what shots he needs this year. Get a little weigh in and uh, maybe get some advice on uh, how his weight diet has been working over the last 12 months and if we wanna make any changes or if he's just staying steady and happy right there at that weight, that's fine too. 
So uh, I'll catch back up with you guys here in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I am actually really glad that I was kind of forced to come down to Yuma for the tooth thing, because like I said, Jax has got the appointment today, and I just found this really neat resource here at this gas station, which you just you can't find in Quartzsite, right? I, th I feel like Yuma is almost more of a friendlier spot than Quartzsite. This gas station has a free RV dump station. You go in and give them your ID, and you get the key to open that. They have potable water and a huge trash dumpster. That's how much this gas station slash giant uh, convenience store likes RVers. So, hey, you're an awesome spot. I'm gonna put GPS coordinates in case you guys happen to be camping down here instead. Just, just seems like it's better. So I'll uh, stock up and then I'll be good for another 10 to 14 days. Hey buddy, I got a confession to make. I've been telling you we're going to mouse land all day. That was a tiny fib. Um, but I think everything will be okay. I love you, and don't be mad at me later, okay? Ready, go? He's like, this doesn't feel like mouse land, Dad. It has a strange veterinarian feel. No, buddy, there's, there's no mouse here. Just bets. I'm sorry, man. You forgive me? Okay. Just in case you're wondering, 24.2. <laughs> You, you've been getting into treats, haven't you? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. He's mad already. He's like, Dad, I know this is the vet. I know it. This is why so many people say Jax looks like their cat. They're always like, Jax is just like my cat, but he's but he's huge. Look at this picture, you guys. Oh, I know, he's trying to grab the camera. That looks like Jax. Like, it could be his twin. Markings and everything. He's just gonna keep licking, huh? Okay. Can I shake your hand? Thanks. Thanks. Jax was due for rabies and had two other shots uh, now they're testing his ear goop under a microscope to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. You did pretty good. Yeah, we're almost done. You did good. So all in all, the vet visit went really well for Jax. After the first shot though, and he had three of them, he was not very cooperative with the last two. We had to kind of wrap him in a towel, and I, I was there at least, but uh, he, he's, he just wasn't digging the last two shots. But. Now he's good on rabies for three years, got all his annuals, we're good to go, we got all the paperwork in case we gotta go somewhere where that's important. And his ears, that test came back uh, negative for yeast, no bacterial infection, no ear mites, uh, no fungus, no nothing bad in his ear. They just have always itched for him. And so I help him once a week with the cleaner to get dirt out of there. But it's just, uh, they gave us some antibiotics and some medicine it's in a little yellow jar and so I need to put uh, two of that in his ear for seven days twice a day for seven days and he says that should get rid of Jax's irritation and itching at his ears other than that he's perfectly healthy uh, gained 1.2 pounds over the last year so nothing really we can say uh, his diet you know his new food and his portion control and everything um, yeah, I don't know. He's a healthy boy. I'm going to keep an eye on him because except for last year, every other year before that, after annual vaccines, Jax pukes a little bit. Just his tummy gets upset. You know, that's not a, if they're not putting poisons in him. You know, I'm all for vaccines for pets and for myself, but sometimes it just makes his tummy a little upset. So I'll, gi I'll give him an hour and then we'll do lunch or something and see how he does. Hopefully he doesn't puke, but you just never know. Um, guess what? I left my ID over at the dump station over there and realized it during the vet visit. So hopefully it's still sitting there. I got sidetracked because we had to, because people came up behind me and they wanted to use the dump station. I got to talking and so how you doing buddy? So we'll see. Hopefully it's still sitting there. Uh, if not, I do have a backup driver's license in case I lose this one. Kind of cool. <laughs> but yeah. Got my D back, cool. You know, I'm just not quite ready to leave Yuma. I really like this area. And I'm feeling really weird about it, but 
I want to go find a nice park and hang out with Jax and just give him some dad cat time. And then, uh, I have no idea. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, Jax uh, puked, actually. I kind of figured that was going to happen. It's okay. Just get it out of the way. He'll be hungry in a couple hours, and he'll be, he'll be back to his normal self. I'll just keep a close eye on him. This is a little park right on the other side of the Paradise Casino. Casino parking is just over that uh, bluff over there. But you got access to water here, some people fishing. There's restrooms, drinking water, and uh, there's a threaded spigot there. So I rinsed off the T-dub there a little bit, just get all the dust off from all the trails. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to keep her very clean on the road, but I'll try. It uh, feels pretty weird being alone all of a sudden. Like, everything was so crazy and happening at RTR and then just, hmm, nothing. Little water fountain here at the park that's uh, not working. Check out this view. Isn't that nice? That's almost uh, kayak weather out here for the inflatable. No, I got a few projects to do back in the RV, so. Anyway, I'll hike it over to the parking area and I'll get back to here in a little bit. So the reason Paradise Casino here is so empty is because they're kicking everybody out in two days for an outdoor concert, an annual concert that happens out here in the RV section. So that's okay. I was only gonna spend one or two nights at max here anyway. So I'll stay till they literally kick me out. Since I'm getting the good solar, I'm just uh, trickle charging, maintaining the uh, battery here. I was lucky enough that the previous owner, or maybe they do it in the factory, but they put in the little attachment there, trickle charger right there, and then they zip tied it right there. So that's hardwired in the battery. Same plug I already had, same one I had for the scooter. So just plug that in, turn this guy on here, 80%. So it's just gonna trickle charge and maintain it. Might do this once every week, depending on how much I ride it. And uh, we're just uh, charging it by solar right now. Cool. And how's my little guy up there? I love you, Jax. We're all done, okay? No more vet for a year. You about ready for lunch? You want some kibbles? Are you ready for kibbles? Are you hungry? Oh my gosh, you didn't even flinch. You're not hungry, Jax? No, seriously, are you okay? You okay, man? Your tummy okay? All right. If you need some alone time, let me know, but I'm gonna keep an eye on you, okay? Okay. Don't come back in. Aw, I love how you pull my hand back. <laughs> All right. Well, good morning, everybody. It uh, sure got windy last night. Had to wake up in the middle of the night, put the awning away, slap the solar panels back down. The forecast blew that one, but we had some gnarly, nasty winds, and it's still happening right now. So uh, anyway, kind of over the whole casino thing, but not quite over Yuma. There is some BLM nearby, so um, camping with a friend here from RTR. We're gonna go uh, check out another spot, I think, for a night and change things up a little bit. So anyway, guys, uh, have a good day and uh, Jackson, I'll see you in a couple days. Bye-bye.